this video, I want to show you how easy it is to start using the KPI visuals in your Power BI reports. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along if you want. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through the sample file that I prepared for you today. It's a very simple data set that we have here of the orders table. Um, I've shown it in my previous videos in the past but essentially it's just information about different orders that were made in different dates, uh, what products and categories they belong to, uh, which country and which company, uh, customer information that we have here, and also unit price and quantity. We created two other tables here. We have a calendar table, which is what we use for all of our time intelligence. It has a one-to-many relationship with the calendar and the orders table, so through the order date. And we also have a calculations measure table that houses all of the measures that we use for our reports. At the moment, it only has a total sales measure, which calculates the, um, the total sales by multiplying the quantity and unit price. I've added something simple here, uh, which is a plus zero, which makes sure that if there is no quantity or unit price to multiply to, just show the value as zero. So I just put the sum in a uh, in a bracket and then a plus zero at the end. So when you have scenarios where you have to show uh, your progress against your goals uh, very quickly and easily, you would use the KPI visuals for those kind of scenarios. Uh, the KPI visuals work very similar to the card visual, but it has some key features that are quite different. So um, first is it lets you see the current values against the goals, um, which you can't do with the um, uh, with the normal card visual. And the second is it lets you show a trend axis of your data against its past values. So let me show you how you can use that with our data set, right? So let's bring in the KPI card here. And let's bring in total sales. And from our calendar, let's bring in year. So now it gives us a value here um, with some uh, triangle at the back and let's investigate what's what this what this is all about so if we click here and show us table it shows us the values that this uh, visual is running off of and from here it shows us some interesting information right so it shows us the the um, the triangle at the back is actually the trend so we only have three uh, years at the moment that's why it's showing just the triangle and it shows us the total sales per year and the number that you have there the 316 million pounds is not the total sales value but actually the latest value that you have in your data set so this would typically be your current value um, if you were showing it as a kpi at the moment our current value is the latest in our table in which case 1998 so now let's think about adding a target goal to our kpi Let's say our target is whatever the value is in the previous year. Uh, we want to compare the value of this year against the previous year and I want to see how I'm doing against that goal. And we can actually do that through a measure. So let's do that. So let's go back to the report view first and let's create a new measure. Let's name this one total sales previous year. and. We'll do a calculate because we need to do an expression here. We'll do total sales. And on the filter section here, we will use the previous year to get us the values of the total sales of just the previous year. Now, I covered how to use previous year functions in the past in a previous video. So if you're interested in how to use that and how to utilize it, you can check out that video. But essentially, the, it, that's all it does. It just gets the value and it evaluates the values based on the previous year data that you put here. So uh, let's ask, let's say previous year and we put the calendar dates. And if we hit enter, 
now we will add that in our target goal so now you'll see that it's added a bit of color um, into our into our kpi and it's showing us red and it's also showing us a new value here goal which essentially compares the current value that we have against the goal that we have which as we said is the previous year now what am i babbling about let's have a look at the data and let's investigate what's going on here so as I said, uh, the same thing as before, we have the total sales, the, the current one that we're looking at is 316 million, which hasn't changed. But what this does now, the KPI is it's comparing the, uh, the total sales that we have for 1998 against the previous year's total sales, which in this case is the 703 million, which as you can tell, it's 55% um, away from the target for this year. Now, because we're using measures, you can actually use filters to customize your KPI reports. Maybe you don't want to look at the total sales overall, but maybe you want to look at certain categories or maybe certain countries and look at how their trends change over time. So let's say maybe let's look at the categories, different categories, let's add a filter here. Maybe we want to see uh, seafood or how that changes over time. Or uh, maybe let's see, we want to see what the consumption is from different countries so let's add a filter for that let's say we want to see how seafood uh, demand for France changes over time and how it compares against the previous dates and with these cross filtering capabilities you're able to customize your KPI visuals even further than what you normally would and, and last thing actually I want to add is a slicer for the year just a slider here to show us a different value on the total sales. So let's say maybe we wanted to see 1997 instead or instead of 1998. That allows us to kind of change the range that we're looking at. But now let's say 1997, 1998, these years are, you know, there, there's not enough data points for us to do a trend analysis. We want to see by month uh, how this trend looks like over time. and how can we do that so first of all we want to show the trend by month which means we need to do two things the first thing is we need to change the uh, measure or rather maybe we'll need to create a new measure for the previous month so that we can compare against the previous months so let's do that so let's create a new measure and let's name it total sales previous month and again we'll do a calculate total sales previous month dates the next thing that we'll need to do is we'll actually need to modify the calendar table slightly now you would normally think you just put the month uh, on your trend and axis right but it doesn't account for the different years of the months so we need to have a separate field that distinguishes years and months together so from here it's very easy we'll just create another column here we'll name it year month and we'll do a format to create the format that we want so the format is year space month right here if i close that and hit enter so now what we'll do we will add this replace this year with the new field that we have here the year month and now that gives us the um, the trend axis with more data points than just the years and that's really it for this video i hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start using kpi visuals in your power bi reports leave a like in this video if it helped you it's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content get in touch using the social media links that i included in the description box below and thank you so much for watching guys see you again on the next one